Hi, this tutorial will show you how to identify information in a pie chart for the IELTS Task 1 Academic Writing. To do this task well, it is important to remember that the two pie charts need to be compared in addition to describing the proportion of goods sent to various countries from both Australia and New Zealand. Use the pause button on your player if you need longer to read the following screens and the play button to continue. This tutorial will look at identifying the main features of the charts, especially the features that can be compared. An essential point to note is that for both countries, only three destination countries made up about three quarters of the total goods. For Australia, the top three destinations for goods were Japan, China and Korea, a total of about 71.2%, while for New Zealand the top three destinations were Australia, the US and Japan, a total of about 75.6%. A key point you should mention is that the country that took the largest percentage of New Zealand's goods was Australia at 38.7%, well over a third. However, New Zealand was not one of the major export destinations for Australia. Another point to note is that the country that received the largest proportion of Australia's goods in 2008, namely Japan, 32.9%, almost exactly a third, was also a major destination for New Zealand's goods, 16.7%. You should also state that China and the US were important destinations for both Australian and New Zealand goods, giving the proportions and making clear comparisons and contrasts. To fully use the data given, you can state that the UK was a significant destination for New Zealand's goods, but that that country did not appear in the major export destinations for Australia. Conversely, India was an important destination for Australia's goods, but not for New Zealand's goods. Remember that dealing with all the main features is essential to getting a high score and avoid simply describing the percentages given. Look for similarities and differences to make your comparisons. This concludes the pie chart tutorial. If you want more help with your IELTS, go to www.myenglishexam.com.